going on everybody welcome to another terp talk tuesday with my can of cast i'm can of dave you know i'm groovy hope you're all doing pretty good today uh it's pretty chilly out there in michigan it's supposed to be pretty cold tonight groovy so hopefully you're staying yeah. warm and uh yeah i mean it's it's cold it's cold in the p yeah where we're at right now yeah <laughs> it's like well, it's cold it's cold everywhere really right now um but tonight we're gonna be talking about um we briefly brought it up on Saturday, and I think um, I what's think up, Dave? Saturday what's Tuesday. up, John Day? How you doing? Someday driver sounds nice. Sorry, I just wanted to respond to the comments oh, no, before I yeah, forgot. Oh yeah, no, we'll get in all the comments, and I would let us, always let us know what you're smoking and dabbing on. But today, today we're gonna be talking about uh, Rick Simpson and RSO oils. So really, just the story of his because it's pretty yeah. cool. It's unique, and like the things he, the things RSO has, the way he did it is so unique compared to any other cannabis product because. Every cannabis like it, product is made to make money, mm-hmm. right? Like a lot of it, right? I mean, I guess, okay, let me rephrase. A lot of it has evolved into a money-making scheme, right? It's a business, right? Yes. RSO, the only reason why I said that and my whole point was to, that I was trying to make was that um, Rick Simpson put this stuff out for free and didn't want to patent it and stuff. So I thought that was really cool. Yeah, he did. And um. And it goes to the credibility of him as a cannabis pioneer right, right. and what he's done for the industry. But we'll, we're going to go into some back history and, and like how it all started and where it came from. Right. Um, but before, I'm um, about to roll up and join us in Bangarang. And then you're about to, uh, you got Yeah, let us know what you're dabbing on, smoking on. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be dab. Oh, yeah, shout out. Shout out to um, American Grown Canna uh, out of uh, Northern Michigan. I, I can't remember exactly the city, but it was Northern Michigan. I think a little west or east of Tawas. Um, they actually, uh, we they won a gift card from the Small Business Owners Day. Um, yeah, yeah. And they happened to just be in the area, and they were like, hey, you want some bud and stuff to try? So we're like, yeah. So we're just smoking on some of this uh, Gushmints. Sounds pretty good. They gave us some rosin. That was pretty tasty. That was papaya. Tasty. papaya. I think it was pushed by someone else. But, yeah, shout out. Thanks. Appreciate you. Yeah, appreciate it. Uh, you know that. So and we'll also the papaya the- flower smells really good. So we're we'll gonna be trying some of that too. So much, much appreciated. On you that. grow the Sunday Driver, Dave? That's a that's a long grow, isn't it? That's like a sativa, isn't it? Sunday Driver. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm not too familiar with. Uh, really, for some reason I thought it was a head high. I, I don't know why I'm thinking that though. Ah. Uh. So what are you rolling up again? I'm so sorry. Uh, I'm about to roll up some bangering real quick. And then you got the gush, Gushmans. 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 I mean, yeah, it's probably Gushers crossed with Cushmans. Is what I would imagine. But, yeah, I got to roll this up. There you go, sir. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. No, And then, I mean, just to give you a little background on what Rick Simpson oil is. Rick Simpson oil is um, essentially a cannabis extracted um, product. Uh, it actually is a solvent. Um, when you th- break it down, it is a solvent. It's not solventless. Hundred uh, percent. And uh, it is uh, a very unique cannabis product. It's very strong, very high potency. I-, I would say probably one of besides hash, probably one of the more OG concentrates. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because this has been around. I mean, it says two thousand three. I thought it was even earlier, but I guess it's just two thousand three. Yeah. But like, we'll we'll get <clears throat> so, into all that later. But yeah, it's cool. Yeah, it, really it, crazy product. Um, you tried RSO? Yeah, I think that's a good question to start off. I mean, I I haven't had RSO in a while, but I've I've dabbled with a lot of RSO back when I was younger. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Like when I was doing it though, it was more like, oh, what is this? And I was getting like very high from it. It's like very it was very sedative uh and heavy for me. That's how the effects were for me. Right, right, right. Um that makes sense. I mean, dude, it is. It there it doesn't matter how long you've been smoking, it is super strong. Yeah. It's not and I don't think it you never it's never as psychoactive as like cannabis. Like weed or dabs, you know what I mean? It really always just whew, 
Not Kyle couch is my it's ass. Full, out, it's full dude. spectrum for the most part. Right, but there's just something the about RSO that hits me. Like it puts it makes me sleepier than any other product, right? Sure, cannabis and dabs, they make you sleepy. I'm not saying they don't. But if you hit like RSO is like to the point where I don't even want to stand up. Like I get so like buzzed. You know what I mean? Like it's it's it fucking hits you from all angles. Like doesn't like ease up. It just hits you at some point. <laughs> Yeah, no, it does. It knocks you out, man. Knocks you out. But well, let's get into let's get into Rick Simpson's story before we go more into the oil and like um, like before before anyone knew about him, he was just an engineer working pretty much in a like a Canadian. hospital. Canadian. Yeah, Canadian and yep, Canadian engineer working in the hospital. Um, was working in areas that had asbestos, you know, covered in pipes, uh, bad ventilation, toxic fumes, and this uh, this caused you know. Him to eventually get probably diagnosed with that basal cell. I'm probably gonna butcher basal it. Basal cell melano melano. It's skin cancer, isn't it? Sarcinoma. Sarcinoma. Yeah, some type of skin cancer. Like, it seemed like is from how it described. If I if I understood it correctly, because he said he had patches on his skin. Yeah. And on his near his neck area. So yeah. So yeah. Sorry. Just and cheers to your dub. Cheers, mop man. What you dabbing on smoking on? Yeah. Cheers, everybody. Um, Good to see you, John Day. Appreciate it. Well, you want to smoke? We'll smoke that one first, and then we'll go with the bangering after. So once you roll that up, we'll smoke that. Um, <clears throat> I want to. I want to taste the gusher mints because I'll get that bangering taste after I smoke that. Um, I, I was just going in like I'm, I'm looking at Leafy. And Leafy's talking about like, but because like in 2003 is when pretty much RSO he started put, talking about it because that's when he was, that's diagnosed, when he was diagnosed, diagnosed. Well, so it. in this, so he we got he was working in you the asbestos, the bad fumes, getting dizzy and having not being able to use like the medication that was prescribed to him eventually started uh, beginning using medical marijuana to treat his symptoms because the the prescriptions from the doctors weren't helping. Um, And then once he got the 2003 cancer, pretty much like dilemma, which happened, he looked at a study, which the study, which, which this is hilarious because if you think about it, not, not hilarious, but hilarious, in, in like a retrospect that it happened years ago that we should be able to, they should have looked at this and we should do more uh, research on it. Um, and it's a study that the, in 1975, the Journal of the National Cancer, Cancer Institute showed how cannabis and its compounds inhibited tumor growth within mice. So this, was, this pretty much ex, uh, inspired him to create RSL which is Rick hmm, Simpson. That's interesting. Yeah, I, so, did, I, I didn't even read that part. So since like 1975, we've known that it, it's been able to uh, cure in mice, right? Inhibit the growth of tumors. So like, why wouldn't we uh, be looking at this more as an oil or other properties for years to help treat like cancer, right? Like cancer is number one, like it's one of the top, right? Killers in America. Well, I mean, there's many ways to look at it. I'm sure some people will say, hey, it's because, yeah. Dave, it was illegal. But, I mean, I think it's because they found out about it early, and they, they would lose all their money, man. You know how much money Big Pharma produces? Yeah, no, uh, I know. How much it, it's always it's, produced? There's, how much, there's so much money in curing diseases, if like, you know, like and all that. So it's like, to me, I feel like the reason why there was not, again, a push for it, why there was a lot of that propaganda in the first place was just because mm-hmm. you didn't want to, it was money, man. That greed. Yeah, I know, but it just blows my mind that like there was research being done in the seventies about this. Mm-hmm. Man, you remember the beginning of Pineapple Express? Illegal. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying, dude. Like that again. That's I'm. I love that conspiracy movie. Like, groovy like, over like, here, or whatever. But like crazy. It's just you know, crazy. and again, whatever it is, it the, the whole you know. Okay, so think about it. You know, the yeah. research was done. Uh, but what's I think the beauty of this to me was that Rick Simpson himself was just like, I'm gonna make this at home. It, like he it, he probably understood extraction, just basic understanding of it, and just did it the way ever he did it, and um, the first time, and then uh, self experimented, you know. And then they said after weeks, it, it his patches started to like disappear. Yeah, I'm sure that was just like the skin sure. parts of itself, right? They, there's a whole recommended dosage and how much you should eat, and it is insane. It builds you up to like 60 grams of bar or so. You eat a gram yeah, a day. So it's until like, like it's actually interesting. Straight. Actually interesting. Like week one, if you were crazy, if you were to what use up, LD? it, you would uh, one drop the size of a half grain of rice, right? And from my from back from back when I tried uh, RSO, it was like a very thicker, sludgier consistency. Like mm-hmm. it's best to put it on a cracker, or I literally just put it on the back of my nail and ate it that way. No, and I like the, I do a cracker sandwich sort of thing. And I smush them together, and then you just eat it, and it'll hit you pretty quick. I mean, yeah, it's re- relatively pretty fast. Um, but then within weeks two to five, 
you slowly increase the dosage until you're reaching a gram of RSO oil a day, right? And wow. this, this, these are the recommended dosage that that he uh, did. And then five to 12 weeks, uh, you continue with one gram until you've reached 60 yeah, grams. Yeah, this is like the recommended, like, or like... 60 grams of RSO. And I was reading something else. It was like 60 grams in 90 days. There's another uh, study that was done. Uh, T-Dub says, I never had, on YouTube says, I never had RSO. I have friends that don't smoke but use RSO for medicinal benefits. Yeah, and it's a very different feeling. And that's what I was trying to say. I mean, it may be similar, right? Like how mm -hmm. similar dabs are to weed, but they're different. Right. You know what I mean? So... There is a difference, and I think it's because those heavy pain or those heavy like when people talk about like someone brought this up to me at work the other day at my day job, and it was like, "Does can weed really just like cure pain? Like if I was hurting on my leg, could I just like smoke a joint?" I was like, "No, not exactly. Right, you need the concentrated versions, right? right? And even when you're talking dabs, I mean, like that might help more to your beginning smoker, but like like heavy mil milligram edibles." And heavy heavy RSO is like is really the most full spectrum heavy feeling. You know, what I mean, that I've ever felt with cannabis. If you take a lot of RSO, RSO for sure. Yeah. I mean, okay, can I can I can I talk about when the Dave did a competition with a couple other friends? The first time we ever saw Ooh. RSO, you you know, Canada Dave, right? Canada Dave loves getting lit. He's like, all right, bro, I'll tell you it all. Accepted. My buddy rolled up with RSO. Granted, electric it was, force. It was black pills. Like they were not. It was not it was clean RSO. RSO. Right. Right, but it was new RSO. He just made it was homemade RSO, homemade yeah. RSO. That's what it was, and but y'all took about an eighth each. Yes, yeah, that was insane. I could barely walk. <laughs> My one buddy passed out like this. I passed out in a car. music festival, like not even on drugs, just yeah. for like eight hours. Or, I passed out know. with the car running. Yeah, you, well, you yeah for hours. Dude. I don't even know. <laughs> Surprised I left. I think I left right after. <laughs> yes, you did. I was so turned. I was like, come out couldn't do it um, no more but insane. it's very heavy it's very heavy that's what i was trying to get it's at very, is that that heavy. fucked you i mean yeah, dave is like i'm heavy. trying to get high but it doesn't get you i mean it gets you fucked up right i don't eating. think it would get you yeah but you know how people describe high or getting your mind right it's that like slow down effect it's that that, that yeah that drag right that <laughs> that chiller mindset whatever you digs you dig right yep um and uh you, it, you're not getting that right you're not getting that full though. spectrum when it's being processed or when you're smoking weed right you, not always at least i guess flour flour you're smoking. getting the high like there so i was I, but i don't know but even high very, high temperatures do burn terpenes right so really i mean i don't know i don't know either way doesn't matter no, all right so snoop dog i love that your name snoop dog first off if you're real come on the podcast <laughs> but uh, I made Everclear THC tincture with 90 100%. grams of weed. Nice. I've been letting it evaporate all week. Any way to mac evaporate evaporate faster and safely. As far as like getting your solvent out, like a, a clean way, I, I mean, I feel like the safest way is going to be using some type of extraction machine that does that, right? I'm sure it's like some type of like purging machine. Mm -hmm. But um, I don't know. I mean, if it just evaporates, I mean, I assume, I mean, it's ISO. Did you do it with, I mean, I'm assuming you made it with 99% ISO. Um, if you did, again, that's what they recommend, but um, eventually it will evaporate. Yeah, it will. Um, faster though? I don't know. I don't know if you want to rush it. Do you want to rush it? That's what I was trying to say is you might be able to add heat to the process or some type of like movement, whether it be like air but like it's like if you speed the process up with that dry things and not evaporate fully because I wouldn't want that to soak in right by with that speeding process. So I mean, just from my brain, I can't really give you like a professional advice, but I would just it's my phone. Um, <laughs> we're not watching Law and Order. Uh, so, <laughs> sorry, I forgot about that. That's my text, but um, yeah, no, I I would just be safer with. Oh, made it with Everclear. Oh, he that was the first word, and I fucking overlooked it. My bad, dude. Um, I, I would just, uh, personally, I think you just wait. But I've never heard any way to speed it up, to be honest, when you're just using ISO. But okay. oh, oh, Dave, you have mentioned this. He says coconut oil is way easier to use and way better for you. But doesn't the coconut oil, doesn't that just turn it into an oil and you just cook with it, essentially, kind of like a butter? You know, and I have heard people turning things into RSO and then putting it in butter. Which they talk about if you don't like the RSO flavor, then that might be good for you. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but uh, the rice cooker is what Dave Cobb is recommending. High ventilated area, like I said, air movement. Yeah, that's but, good for sure. Like I said, I wouldn't just put a hard fan on it and like heat the hell out of it, like an oven, like to get it through <laughs> faster. Like I feel like you brush it, it's going to be bad. 
Um, T Dub asked, "Do you take it all at once or small thing, small throughout yeah, the day?" Yeah, I actually wanted to go back to that. I so got it, it, I'm not gonna lie. Like when even now, because I don't take it regularly, the rice size serving will still get me. Yeah. What he recommends is it during that if you're talking about the like the week what I explained earlier, the week oh, one, right, five yeah. to twelve, and then two to five or two to five, five to twelve. Mm-hmm. Um, he recommends doing incremental doses. Um, take about three doses per day about eight hours apart yeah so but yeah but again like a right it's just like a little dab a little tiny dab imagine just like a like a kind of a like a like a little dab (laughs) i'd probably do one in the morning and one at in the after like one like with breakfast and then one at dinner yeah and that makes sense for because i I, make them a little bit bigger instead of three i've been actually using my rso and doing about a dab about a rice but that's what it says and i just put it in between saltines i love salt i don't know so i just put it between saltines and i eat that bitch but it's good it goes down faster it. in the dryness of the salty. It doesn't get stuck in my mouth or my True. teeth. I used to hate when RSO yeah, gets stuck yeah. in my teeth. And it's like so oh. sticky. Oh. That's, I mean, so, I really don't recommend putting that shit on your finger. I know they say you it. can, and I have, and, but you're like, like, you're really getting it. Yeah, you are. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, okay. Spark that up. Here. Sir. Spark it up. I'm always clicking things, and I forget to do things. All good. All good. Yeah, Dave Cobb's reckoning they're in the rice cooker. Snoop Dogg. I love that I'm calling you Snoop Dogg right now. Yeah. What you smoking on, Snoop? <laughs> yeah, yeah, what you I, 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 I well, yeah. <laughs> Snoop. Uh, Ma, yeah, everyone's saying coconut oil. Okay. Yeah, and that, again, that again, this is just what we read doing the Rick Simpson oil, so that's really cool to make the oil. I like the idea of making coconut oil because that probably, I mean, you're not using, you're not adding alcohol. If it's going to extract the same amount in the full spectrum, then like, you can already consume coconut oil, so that's yeah, obviously way healthier. Then you you can kind of not bypass the purging process, but you probably wouldn't have to be so restricted by waiting, right? You could probably consume it wet and be okay still. That's awesome. Thanks. I, I love this community. Coconut oil, love it. I did want to talk about one thing. Um, I don't know how popular this is or who knows about it. Um, fico, not fico matter. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, fecal man fecal. but no i know that was the joke uh <laughs> was the joke um but <laughs> <laughs> all right <laughs> that's horrible it's fucking horrible um that was a good one <laughs> <laughs> crickets fucking crickets dude no uh but uh, rso versus fico oh, uh, they they described it as um extra uh fully full extracted cannabis oil which it's extracted via ethanol or co2 uh, imagine this is like dabs, but low temps to evaporate the solvent where RSO is the alcohol. Or This is what I didn't know, and when you brought up coconut oil, I was going to bring this up, but naphtha? Naphtha is another solu- so solvent they said that you can uh, use to do it. Okay. And then higher temps to evaporate, meaning like you just, so compa- in comparison. Uh, but similar, I don't know though, because it sounds almost like FICO is similar to RSO, but like just less of a dab. I, I don't know how to explain that to better <laughs> because what I was reading is you can technically dab good solvent RSO too. And that was a very confusing thing. Yeah. And neither RSO I've tried, I've never been able to dab because it'd be, it would just tar your, it would char your banger. I don't think it would burn. Has anyone ever dabbed RSO? Cause that was something I've only it. read have about. Have me and you tried it? I don't think I've ever dabbed I've RSO myself. Dude. I've never dabbed RSO. Because they used to back in, and I was working at one of the shops. Remember, one of the brands had the CO2 RSO, like syringes. My dude was working at it. Alex, that was his company. Yeah, just go, keep going, bro. I don't know what you're talking about. Just explain yeah, it. No, like, no, it was just RSO in a syringe. And I'm pretty sure we tried to dab it back in the day. And it was just chunk, didn't do nothing. Not almost positive. <laughs> Nope. Okay. Maybe it wasn't. Mm. My man said, I know a lot of people who use uh, moonshine or high proof alcohol. For sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. Uh, here we go. Use a wooden spoon and spin okay. it around as quickly as you can. Uh, Luxuriously Dope is giving a good example uh, in the comments. If you're on YouTube, go check out the homie. Um, yeah, and if you're not subscribed to the YouTube yet, hit that subscribe button. We greatly appreciate it. Yeah. Especially if you're joining from Facebook or IG, LinkedIn, Twitter. Jump over to our YouTube. Join the community. There's tons of comments going on over there. In the crowd. Hell yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, a lot of people recommend coconut oil. I really like that though. I think that's a great idea using coconut oil because if your body can already consume it, like then that's gonna be so much better. 
Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Over uh making it with moonshine, that'd be intense, right? I feel like that'd be so heavy. No, I mean it's just high proof alcohol. Yeah, I mean, that's true. the same thing as ISO technically. Yeah, clear. yeah it's all it's all yeah, similar it's shit. That's why when people are like, Oh, drinking high proof alcohol, I'm like, you're drinking like gas, right? No, <laughs> I don't <laughs> ISO. Man, that like, sapping trees, what's up, fam? Penny hearts. That sounds wild. Totally forgot to even check Instagram. Sorry, fam, if y'all been commenting and shit. Um the naphtha in the U.S., uh, we got a comment from my man nice, nice. talking about naphtha. So I was very curious about this. Um, it's the other solvent that they said that you can use to make RSO uh, before the coconut oil. I imagine these are more primitive ones. We looked up coconut oil is probably a new one. The naphtha in the U.S. has some funky additive that's not good. Her from the naphtha from Canada does not have good some additives. So, again, it's like, yeah. And honestly, if you Thank can make you. it out of coconut oil, why the hell would you not? Like, I'm going to look I, more I into stick, that. Yeah, I would be sticking it. I'll be honest. We oil. looked up multiple articles, and no one talked about the coconut oil. So that's awesome. Unless that's more considered FICO. And that's what I was trying to say is FICO confused me because I didn't understand if they were describing wax or if they were describing some type of – some other extract that I don't know about. And that's why I would – Coconut oil be called? I don't understand. I, I don't know, so I don't understand that uh, the difference fully. So, yeah. you did you? I didn't get that of fico. I mean, I mean, if it's used, you if it's full extract using ethanol and other solvents. I mean, isn't coconut oil is not a solvent? So I don't think it'd be that. Yeah, maybe I'm. You know what? I think fico actually yeah. would just be RSO, just done the process done slightly different. Definitely. Because now yeah. I read more, I think about it. I it wouldn't be called different. wax because that that's done completely different, or it's done differently. But I don't know because CO two. See, that's where I'm confusing. I we'd have to talk to an extractor to get facts on that because we haven't. I didn't read anything about the difference. Just the process that was different. Right. Has anyone else uh, tried some RSO out there? Have they experienced with RSO? I ate RSO like the past two nights. Three, two, last night, not yet the night before, but and then the night before that. So I've been trying to eat, get it more in my system, where I actually found some. So I've been just eating it, you know. And now it's affordable. It used to be way overpriced, and I hated it. Oh well, yeah, I mean, it, I feel like not a lot of not a lot of companies were making it though back in the day either. You know, there was a, there was like one or two companies that you'd see RSO from. You'd be able to get it from a lot of caregivers. A lot of caregivers here in Michigan were, were producing. The RSO oil. Oh, yeah. I mean, because it does have it. medicinal benefits. Right. Like, they talk about all the benefits of what it could do. And, like, uh, again, this, like, I don't know exactly everything, but we read it. Uh, it says it's from, um, uh, called Bloom Medicinals out of, like, Ohio or something. It was, um, it said, since chronic inflammation is such a common factor in so many illnesses, RSO is believed to be helpful in the treatment of wide range conditions, including Anxiety, depression, neurological conditions, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, like asthma, infections, inflammatory. So the list kind of goes on. Chronic pain, high blood pressure. And that's what I, I think that's because it's so full spectrum that there's no like, this is curing this. It's kind of like the mix. Mm -hmm. Again, like this isn't necessarily alluding to the entourage effect. But it, they, they don't say that. But that's kind of what I call that because that's that interaction of all those can cannabinoids and all the THC, all the terpenes, all hitting you at once, right? Mm -hmm. There's just something psychoactive going on there. So, and as well as like when you're dealing with RSO, it's so strong. It is very strong. You know? It is. You can't deny you're feeling something when you're on RSO. Oh, dude, yeah, especially. Even a, even a small half of half of a grain of a rice. Like if you took a grain of rice and cut that in half. Yeah, I do about half. a grain of rice. That's all. It's literally a, you said it. Someone it. else said. It. I don't know who told me that a long time ago. I just yeah, that's all I've ever day. done. I've never done more. I watched you guys do that eighth, and I was like, no. I don't even remember that, <laughs> dude. We allegedly partied pretty hard at that music festival, and that was the most fucked up you guys were. <laughs> was all <of> RSO. Nice. <laughs> Well, because I remember you guys were like, yeah, we're going to fucking do it. Ah. I don't think I took any. I don't know if I was, like, partying oh, somewhere else. Yes. I really don't remember what I happened. Remember, no. It was yeah. you, C, J. Yeah. And when we're together, that's just what happens. Who does? Wildness. Yeah. yeah. So that's, Who does yes. more? <laughs> Not good. <laughs> Back in the day. Yeah, it hasn't happened in years. It's hilarious. Yeah. No, I mean, oh, cool, cool. Dave Cobb's going to bring to my oil. What? Is fico? I know it's medicinal oil, fico but I'm not sure what it is. So th that's what. So fico versus, uh, like the only thing we could find. I can't. That's why I said I can't just tell you exactly what it is. There's just the process that's different. If anything, it almost sounds like it's a similar product, but 
um, just the, the 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 process is different, right? And that, that's what they were saying. They're using ethanol or CO two. So I guess it's the solvent is the main difference. And then for some reason they said higher temps are used to evaporate the solvent. RSO or FICO is very very low, and pro- I can't remember if it was longer. I just remember I wrote down low. I typed low, but kind of makes sense. I would say they're very similar. It's just a little bit different on the process, right? And that's where I got confused, and that's what I was trying to like say that it, I mean. I even I, I got confused. I thought it was describing some type of other dabbable version of RSO, but it's not. It really just is the extracted My solvent. Full extract cannabis oil is what FICO stands for, too. Yeah, and that's what um, I was trying to say is like maybe that is what batter is, and maybe that is, but I'd have to verify that with an extractor. Yeah, FICO. Yeah, full spectrum. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Um, the pictures like literally the one picture that I saw of FICO literally looks like RSO. I think I think Fico is just a different process of making RSO. It's just different. Yeah, different extraction method. Yeah, and that's it. That's essentially it. Oh, I googled Fico full extract cannabis oil and solvent such as alcohol. Oh, such as alcohol. See, that's then that's what's confusing me because that's like such as alcohol. Because another website that we looked up multiple said that that it was extracted with ethanol or CO two. Sounds like. Kind of similar. Very similar. Very similar. Because if you even look Very at this similar. picture of FICO, looks like RSO. So, honestly, we're probably pinching here, you know. I would agree probably with you on that, man. I would agree. Um, let's get, let's uh, jump in, uh, give a shout out to DNK here. Oh, shit. And then we'll come back. Let's all take a dab when we get back. Um, we'll probably dab on some rosin over here. But let's give a shout out to DNK uh, and their sour animal. Sour animal is... One of our favorite strains that we've been talking about um, gives you that sour taste. That it, it's cross with sour. It's diesel. my favorite I strain. Mean, it is so tasty. It grows. I highly recommend you give it a try. Um, they will be at our uh, event on the twenty sixth. Mm-hmm. We'll be getting into more details on that. We'll probably have some type of collab, collab raffle too. Basket yeah. Collab. But let's get into uh, why we like the sour animal so much. Here from Shout Nick. Out. Sour animals are our most popular strain that we carry at DNK. It is a classic. So if you're a big fan of sour diesel, really strong, gassy smell, real high THC. We've had it tested as much as 30%. Obviously, we know that that's not everything that makes sour animal such a popular strain. It has, a, like I said, a really strong gassy note, followed up with a little bit of that citrus on the end. Great smoke. It is a sativa dominant. So when we got it, it's a sour diesel crossed with animal cookies. And then again, cross back with sour diesel to really give that sour flavor. We think that's kind of something unique to the flavor profile. And in the marketplace seems to be really popular. For us, it's kind of that throwback strain, kind of one of those originals that really kind of caught fire. So we want to kind of give a little tribute to sour diesel, but kind of give it a 2.0, if you will, coming into 2022. Yeah. Yeah. So shout out to Nick and um, the sour animal. So you'll be able to be able to talk to them, see some of the team at the event i want to get into that so we are going to be throwing an event it's going to be on uh, february 26th at the sunday it's going to be between 2 to 6 p.m uh it's gonna be a live interactive stream come in uh Ask questions yeah we're gonna have a speaker uh we just can jamie lowell yep we just confirmed Jazz with Cash. jamie just right before so he'll be there so you can bring questions to the stream we're gonna be talking about some updated legislatures yep thank you and uh, uh jamie's gonna come talk some updated legislative kind of talk what some jazz cabbage important stuff going on some stuff we discussed in our last episode check it out if you haven't maybe you can get it updated ask more questions about it yep. talk about the veteran program that was uh the funding was weird i can't remember all the specifics check out the episode it was the funding was Slash, mis- you know, like mis- a- allocated, or if I remember correctly. So, um, for definitely money, excited yeah. to hear about it. Probably join us for the stream afterward, maybe before or whatever. We don't know how long we'll hang out, uh, but and then we're gonna reach out and try to find some more speakers and uh, and then kind of do like a live stream with speakers and questions. Bring some questions, bring the crowd and, in, you know, yeah. Yeah, if you got any questions, you bring them in. Um, tickets we'll bring- essentially get you raffle ticket. Uh, some raffle tickets, we'll get pizza. some pizza or some food, some type yeah. of uh, grabbable food for after in the meet and greet. Probably have some music vibes after. Um, yeah, that's about it. Yeah, hopefully uh, if you guys can all come. I think the tickets going to be $15 online and $20 at the door. So, And uh, flour will be, or flour what? The <laughs> flyer will be out whenever it's done. We just we actually just sent it out, like the info, like recently. So we're just waiting to get it back. The flower, I like oh, it. The flower is. I know. I was like, <laughs> I'm like, we got flower. I was like, we I was drop like, a release. <laughs> do we, we smoke them? 
Yeah. Wow. Okay. So it was yeah, all right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, it was good. It was good. It was good. Yeah. Thanks. I, I don't um, know. I couldn't pinpoint the taste exactly because yeah. I, I had to smoke another one, but I never had that strain before. I'm assuming I think it was Gushers and Mints Cross, like Kush Mints and like Gushers what Cross. Else would it be? Like, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Um, That's like yeah. It was like a, it was like sweet with a little bit of hint of mint. That's what I was as we were smoking it. But I'm about to take a dab though. Um, about to dab on some chem cookies. Cookies they changed the name to basically say it was not made with alcohol and other shit. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, and that that's kind of more what I was trying to say. It seems like they're like picking hairs and splitting hair, splitting hairs, excuse me, and kind of just going, "Hey, this is a little bit different, you know." But it's still it's like full spectrum oil versus just RSO. Like I'm saying, it's very similar stuff though, because I've heard full spectrum oil just people call it RSO. So like I think it's kind of interchangeable. It just sounds like the process is slightly different. Makes sense. What you about to dab on? I don't know. I think you should do some rosin. Yeah, that's all I have up here right now, I think. <laughs> oh, no, there's the other stuff. Um, which, well, what well, is everyone else dabbing out there? Uh, I'm going to let everyone else choose. So I got, oh, I got this stuff, by the way. Um, Dave got this stuff for us. Uh, yeah. Live rosin jam. <laughs> jam. So rosin jam. Jam. Mac one. Different consistency. I'll probably do some jam now. I'm talking about it. But, uh, oh, that's what I should have did. I'm going to take mine out. You take them. I will. I appreciate that. Cool. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Sounds about right. No, but it's very saucy. I mean, uh, do you want to put it on the game? Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. Yeah. The smell on it freaking pops, though. I'll pull it up on IG for everyone to see. Yeah, but it's very saucy. Like, it looks like just like how a sauce is, same consistency. If anything, I would say it looks like sauce, but it doesn't move the way sauce would because you know how sauce would actually kind of, like, move? Yep. This doesn't really move. I've actually gone like this upside down, and just to test it, it seems lightly, like like more like batter consistency, but it looks like a sauce because it's thinner, and it's not as, like, it's more see-throughable, if that makes sense. <laughs> you know, it's, like, glossier. It has that back smell. It's very, uh, What's up, Troy? What's up, Ralph Riley? Very terpy. Yeah, it's pretty... I mean, like I said, I, I really enjoyed the flavor. It was very flavorful, though. You could tell the terpenes were real high on that bitch. What's up, Dirty the Grower? Cool. Should have took a bigger dab. Oh, check out... If you are just joining us, check out YouTube. Dirty Grower's got some information on some stuff. Looks like he's giving out uh, his version of RSO. Oh, I love yeah. that everyone's given different, like, slightly different versions. Like, Dave, I, like, I know you're going to bring yours, but I'd love to, like, I'm sure it's very similar. I'm sure it's just waiting, soaking, letting it extract, soaking the other shit, pulling the flour out, waiting it to, like, dilute, eat. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. you know, it's just whatever, solve it. Yeah, let's do some RSO, man. If we try, I, we should. I should. Well, you have that, that one know, RSO. Legit. It. Oh, that episode's coming out tomorrow. Holy shit! I forgot about that. The legit labs episode. Oh yes, yes. that's right. Actually, yeah, I've been so busy. I totally forgot. Um, so uh, hopefully it's out tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> should be on. It's supposed to be on tomorrow. <laughs> it's not tomorrow. It's at no, Thursday at four twenty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, yeah, it's all good. Oh, yeah, Dirty, sure dirty the Grower. This is awesome. Where are they going with that? Shit. The RSO that I had, I should have brought oh, it. I should have oh, brought that uh, No, the whole episode, uh, Legit Labs. Uh, Mirko comes out. He talks about, showed us a bunch of documents with emails and things he was reaching out to companies. I'll let him say it better because it was his research, right? Oh, right, yeah. But talking about botanical and uh, cannabis drive terps. Right, and it's huge, and I'm going to let Mirko say it best, but essentially... Pretty much sounds like it's really like you're going in a gray area of health and legalities. With and a lot I of can't the cards confirm. The market, yeah. Cannot confirm. Well, a lot of pre rolls too, and I won't say the the names, but like sounds like some of these uh True. bullshit flavored pre rolls are kind of uh I don't know though. I can't say they're doing shady shit until unless unless you know. Unless it's proven. I, Mirko seems very like we have to make sure, make, but that Mirko's theory, if Mirko's theory is correct. <laughs> That shit's kind of gross, but you know. So as I'm saying, listen in. It was. It's very cool, man. I, I, I. It was a good interview. It was a fun interview. It's a little. It's a little I bit. I don't know. Longer. Concentrates I think extractions now, the way he does, and like that stuff. So it's easier to let him speak. And yeah. shout out legit labs for doing the interview and sharing the information. Um, if you know, it seems credible. 
But like I said, can't verify because we're not the scientists. But if it is verifiable, like, we messed up. Yeah, it'll be released. Uh, you can check you know? the audio on wherever you listen to your music, and then the video will be on YouTube. And the video you definitely want to check out because there's a lot of stuff that we pull up um, and that he showcases on the camera and stuff too throughout uh, the interview. So Yeah, I mean, and if we have a book, uh, or we have a book, COAs we have a flyer of, of, of COAs and emails and messages he sent. So like I said, like, uh, I, mean, I can't, you know, I could just share the docs. That's all I got, really. <laughs> I can't, <you> know? <laughs> I know. So, but man came swinging. That's all I can say. Yeah. yeah, no, no, it's pretty cool, man. It's pretty cool. That was fun. It was a fun interview, and then and then we got uh, we got another one recorded with Cliff from uh, Low Templates, which will be coming out in a couple of weeks. And Bra's an expert right there, so it'll be pretty sweet. To listen from him. Oh, and by the way, I literally have the RSO process, and we I was like just when we were walking through it, it is right. It's mixing highly purified alcohol with cannabis to create solvent. Straining the solvent to get rid of the extra plant material. Heating the solvent, avoiding naked flames to get rid of the alcohol or whatever solvent, uh, whatever contaminants are present still. And the result is a thicky, a thicky, sticky, thick, <laughs> like brown, black, thin, brown oil, amber. That's what I like to call it. And then you make into edibles. So that's what I was, just wanted to make sure I verified that. I totally forgot if I actually dug into that or not. So cool. Thank yeah. you for that. I think it's dab time. Yeah. Oh. It's always dab time. Always my dead. heart. Oh, yeah, dead. Oh, hell yeah, Josh. I mean, my man, I'm glad you got that uh, swag bag, man. Nice, nice, nice. Sorry, nice. sorry, it took a while. Ex- ex- extract craft Spartan Grow uses it as his ops. Oh, okay, cool. Very cool. Oh, hell yeah, Look Spartan into it. Man. It's exact craft, Jeez. extract craft. Yeah, low tempo. Oh, it's a yes. Yeah, so it's a turbo concentrate extractor. It's a, it's a machine. Yeah, low temp vacuum. Yeah, that's what he said. Nice. Low temp. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't. I didn't, when you said low temp, I was like, does it make wax? But I just wanted to look at it. <laughs> I was like, yeah, it's like at home extraction, dude. It's like five hundred bucks. Extract like the pros within the comfort of your home. Damn! Look at that. What did you dab it on? That jam. The jam. Hell yeah. <coughs> the Mac one jam. But um has anyone else tried jam? Rosin jam out there? Curious. Cause I don't know. I, I don't I think it's a little more <coughs> flavorful than your typical rosin, but the consistency you could not make a donut out of. Yeah, it is not donut material. Not at all. I'll be honest, I, I did it out of my uh Regular rig. I had to use, and if you do get rosin, use the skinny sign to put it on your e-rig because it doesn't really work that good, especially if your nail's already What you got to do is you got to do it from the the backwards. You got to do this instead of going forward with the scoop, do on the back end. Well, if you have a puff co, and then you can just scrape it on the puff co. Uh, Anyways, let's get again. Yeah, yeah. That's such a dark saying. I got to stop saying that. (laughs) But it's a saying. I feel like my mom used to say it or some shit. Is it your cat like when you say that? <laughs> he ain't here. He's like, what? <laughs> He's like, meow. Uh, yeah, but either way, Rick Simpson, great activist, changed the community. I love his whole perspective on RSO, man, because, like, not patenting something... And yeah, giving that to me, it. it just shows you his heart was in the right place, you know? Yeah, dude. I mean, him him bringing the knowledge, uh, testing it on himself, letting everyone know how he did it, right doses, like what he thinks. And I think that's why you, you need, like, the medical program and certain things around here, too. I mean, you got to be able to have this in the market. It's good that we're seeing it in the legal market here, but, like, you got to see more of it because if people should be able to have access to <laughs> it. And, like, I don't think you do see it as often. You are right. so. Yeah. Well, this is why we need well, things I'm not like this. This is why you need caregivers. Yeah, but this is why you need caregivers, man. This is why New Jersey needs caregivers. Because at the end of the day, sure, the dispos are cool and having medical Jersey. dispos are nice. But the real medical people, the really ones that need to benefit, aren't just like, go oh, the dispo. Like, they need help getting the dispo, man. Like, yeah. Like, you need caregivers that can directly give it, man. There's a reason why that system works and why the system is good. 
You know, and when people were like want to point at the couple care the the one percent of caregivers who are doing it illegal, then then mm. go then worry about them. That's not you can't speak about caregivers. Right. It's a different people. And that's yeah, why I get so annoyed with like New St- Jersey and shit. State's never gonna just now opt into a caregiver program if they've never had it, you know? <laughs> like I don't expect Jersey <coughs> What's up, Swiftity? Do anything like that. <coughs> I don't know. I, I it's just something I that don't you know, don't though. it's just I something mean, that you don't see that's talking about a lot of ours though. Corporate America will try to keep it down, but if the people vote and you get the right congressperson, and you don't know, laws can change. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they I need see to get you're hoping, though, and I understand that. I'm with you. I understand that the system's hard to change, there. but it is. But like, like the main, the main, the main thing that I was like, "Wow, I this hope. is crazy," is because like I've known our, I've heard of our, so I've tried our, so I didn't know like the back history, like fully. I know he he used it on himself, but I didn't know it it spawned from a 1975 study that they were testing on mice and it was inhibiting the tumor growth. Like that's fascinating because it's like, why why I I like, I just always love the fact about the story that he just did it on himself. But what were you saying? Why, why, what? Because I'm like, damn, the government's known about this forever that it's like really good medicinally, obviously like, why are we still, (laughs) Are you shocked, it. man? The I'm government knows I'm there's shocked, there's like, actual like, research saying that, like, the shit Damn. is not bad. And as for you, as for all these other drugs that they dope out, and it, they're still waiting, man. Why, what do you think the reason is, man? What is the reason always? <laughs> cash, I greed, know. greed. Not I maybe know. not cash. Maybe it's just yeah. greedy people. Let's say it's greed, right? It come. I don't want to blame cash because cash can. It's just how we trade services, right? Or how we value what we've done for time, right? But at the end of the day, it's that greed, man. If people weren't so greedy and really we were just focused on the thing, like it was like the whole Tesla thing with Edison, man. Tesla wanted electricity to be free and put Tesla poles everywhere. So electricity was just in the air because you can electrically charge, right? Like, but guess what? Edison wanted to patent that shit and make that shit into cash. And he did. Look how much money you're not. And like you just said, how are you going to go backwards? Now it's a billion dollar industry. Yeah, you can't. You never will. You can hope, but I want to hold your breath. <laughs> yeah. No, I know, I know. It's wild, it's wild. And yeah, it definitely was. It was definitely illegal what he was doing back then too. It wasn't <coughs> Canada didn't go legal until what, like fourteen, sixteen, something like that. Fully. You're talking about what when he was creating the RSO? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, he was definitely. That's why you put him as a high. I would say he's one of the bigger activists. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. Well, he's one of the bigger activists. Hell, you guys. <laughs> I know. Uh, I was like, Rock- 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 so I was trying not to laugh. I was like, oh man. He's like, <laughs> the demon just come out of this guy. <laughs> Uh, uh, literally <laughs> nice caregivers can make oil. Oh yeah, no, hundred percent, hundred percent. Oh well, yeah, no, no shit. I'm not saying that. Did I not say that? I thought I said that's the point no, of no, caregivers. No, no, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, you did. I'm with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, of course you did. Tumor growth. The tumor growth is CBG. I share that after ten years here. People call me crazy, but it's the library of medicine. CBG, nice. Well, and think about it. CBG is in the plant. What is it? The early stage. God, we early. just did it. Yeah, I'm, yeah, early stages. So more it makes dominant sense. in the early, in the, yeah. yeah. And then it evolves into CB, and then the TG, THC grades into CBG. CBN. CBN. Excuse me. Yes, that was the difference. I, that's what I literally was saying in my head, and I still said <laughs> CBG. Like, damn it! <sighs> Got you, though. <laughs> Talking so damn fast, Groovy. Oh, slow it down, man. Slow it down. Slow it down. <laughs> um. I don't even know if we need to smoke this. <laughs> Psych. I'm looking at this camera. Psych. Get, uh, <laughs> this guy. Did you even take your dab? Oh, shit. Um, what'd you say? Did you even take your dab? Yeah. yeah. You did. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Can I ask you something? <laughs> I, Since you talk about the dab and I'm staring at this. Do you really like reheating your dabs? Do people reheat dabs still? Because I really have been kind of just taking small dabs and not reheating it with this e-nail. Because I feel like when the, with this email, it just kind of tastes not, not good. It's um, burnt. Burnt popcorn. Two things. Uh, where is the Herm event, Dirty the Grower? Hurim? Her hash shows everything around me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah no, it's, <laughs> it's I middle Mar- I don't know. I'm not <laughs> even going to know. Um, it was middle Michigan, I think. Yeah, no, I've seen his events. Yeah, this was up. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't think so. Um, but we need to confirm we might be doing our own little can of venture. Yeah, we'll be trying oh. some other product and hopefully a lounge. We'll see. We're gonna try. We're gonna not see. Not in the state. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're gonna see. It just depends on. We're not like I said. This just there's all this conversation started 24 hours ago or a little recently. So I don't know. 
Um, CBG, Mesa for life. The star. Okay. okay. Yeah. Let's ski again. Oh, no shit. Is it going on Sunday? Well, skiing's not too. Oh, that's West Side. That's yeah, be on our way back Sunday. I thought it was just maybe it's just Friday. I didn't see the. Oh, post. I, don't know I saw that. the last one, but I didn't see this post. Mm. Oh. Uh, oh, you're asking dirty. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, put it in the comments for sure if you know when. Uh, because I know there's that high hello thing going on Saturday. If you RSVP, it's free. That's in Detroit. Yep. Yeah. Um, that's a smoking event too. I believe that. I thought I said it was consumption, which is pretty cool. <coughs> Big inf- I'm with you, Mop Man. I'm with that 100%. Big Pharma and government don't want you healing yourself. They have to rely on them by billions worth crap medicine when they make you sticky in the first place. Well, at really? the end of the day, it's just good business to make keep the business going, right? And this is just a darker business because you're messing with human lives, right? It's like, you know, because we think about, like, the farm industry, like, marketing does dark shit all the time. But guess what? People were used to it. We're used to the ads. We just swipe, right? It doesn't really hurt us. It's just annoying. This shit can actually hurt us, and that's why it's so, so off- and it's, like, offensive to be, like, put so many people in prison for this. Why, if you have big money and you know the right people, you can make money off it still. But... You know, these other people have a hard time starting off businesses because of safe banking, and it's like mm-hmm. it's just exhausting. And, and and they're just trying so hard to keep weed down for so long. It's like yeah. let it go, let it go. You're still like it's still gonna make money. It's like oh god, oh our eight billion is now six billion. <laughs> like you know what I mean? Like fuck off. <laughs> but I want eight though. Like, they're still <laughs> I'm gonna kidding, make I'm their kidding, mo- I'm no. Kidding. I'm just saying they're still gonna make That's their money off people who go to the hospitals and there's that huge upcharge. How much yeah. you know, money is going to hospitals, man? Yeah, like it's ridiculous. It, it's expensive. That's what it's I'm trying. You know? It's just a, mo- it's a billion dollar industry, unfortunately. And that's why they. That's why you can't. Then you wouldn't. And that's why it's taking so long for legalization and decriminalization to even happen and safe banking and everything you're talking about to happen is because you're having backers by not just big pharma, uh, alcohol, to big tobacco was in it just, for a while. They've been open. You're starting to see them starting to get ready for it. But for a while, I'm pretty sure some of them weren't backing it. Uh, just money, man. Fully, but yeah. Big money can be sometimes. It's, see, it just gets really scary and greedy, um, I guess, a little bit. Shots on shots. What's up? Shots on shots. Yeah. Yeah, not bad, man. Yeah, but well that's uh, that's probably much all my info on RSO. Really cool product. Definitely say if you haven't tried it, try it. Get out there and try it. Or make it. Um... Oh, one last thing. Interesting. I think Rick Simpson recommended making about a, turning about a pound of flour into about what do you say, sixty grams of RSO or something like that. Was his recommended dosage? Not everyone access like that, <laughs> but if you do, that was the recommended. That's what he said. At least I've read on one of the sites, so I thought that was pretty fascinating. That it takes about a pound to turn it into sixty grams. I wonder how like like how close that really is. You know. That's that feels wild. like a quite weed. a bit of weed to make no. that much RSO. So. That's a pretty decent return. What's the percent on it's that? He's probably talking fully purged, like just pure RSO. Too. Yeah, yeah, but like, what? That's what's the return on that? I don't even know what percents off the back of my head, but that's that's not bad. I don't know. I really don't know. Sixty grams. I mean, you have that. I mean, think about this though. You cr- you grow outdoors. You probably get a couple bows of plant. Yeah. No. If yeah. No. No. Stock no, up that's for true. the year, if that's what you need. I just, again, I, I that was from that Bloom Medicinal website. I thought that was fascinating that they quoted that that's what the recommended, like, conversion process should be. Like, damn. Talk about, you want that dense. Well, I've seen yeah. people that, you know, just do the coconut oil thing, and I think they, like, it looked thinner. They almost looked like they left coconut oil. I wonder how good the fr- flour has to be, because, like, right now, you could probably buy an ounce in the Michigan market pretty cheap on, <laughs> and then just make your own. I wouldn't advise buying some of that product. I don't know how good it is. Well, that's what I was trying to say. Is yeah. that the math on that didn't seem right, but I thought that was pretty crazy that they said that site was what well, that's what they recommended to make Rick Sims wine else a pound and turns it about sixty grams. That seemed like not off to me. That's all. I just wanted to bring it up that that website said that. So I don't know if anyone can verify that, but I don't know if that's true. Um, but that that's for his specific what he did, right? That's for specifically what he did. I mean, you can make yeah, your own RSL with, with whatever, whatever you have. Like, right, it's just not as you know. strong, essentially. Correct. That's some strong shit. He's probably, using, yeah, he's probably using all bud and everything, not just sugar trim. And 
just like smell her butt and yeah, stuff. I mean, who knows? Yeah. Yeah. Getting that full, getting you're getting the full effect though. <laughs> you're probably getting the full spectrum. Oh man, bang ring at night. Interesting. Hell yeah, my man. Four hundred forty-eight grams to sixty. Yeah. I guess you're right. Was that 15%? Something like shit? I'm just guesstimating. That's something like that. Maybe a little less. A little less. It's not too bad. All right. Still not too bad, man. Um, yeah, uh, we'll be going we'll be going live this Saturday. Uh, catch us live. Let's <laughs> say 9 a.m. Eastern. Yeah. So be, you know. Yes, sir. Come check out the Wake and Bake weekly on Saturdays. We hope we see you there. 9 a.m. Um Groovy music everywhere. If you want to check out my tunes, uh, check out Sax Music shit or whatever. I got a show on the February 11th. If you want to come check me out live, Tangent Gallery. We got the event February 26th. If you want to come hang out, be a part of the stream, eat pizza, maybe win some shit. Uh, 2 to 6 p.m. Uh, it'll be fun. Dave, you got anything else, bro? Um, no, I've got nothing else. <clears throat> Just check out the episode this week with uh, Mirko with uh, Legit Labs. And uh, we'll see you all on... Uh, Saturday, you can find me at Canada Dave. Other than that, have a great week. And uh, as always, we're here to advocate, educate, and inspire. Till next time, y'all. Peace. Yeah. <laughs>